Hey everybody, I'm Josh. I'm Jace. And we're here to watch Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Oh, it's 28. I know this for a fact. Right. How do you keep track of this shit? Because I edit. Was, did we get a new opening last time? Yes. Ah. Alright. In a weird ass recap episode. Yep. Jace. So, you're about to get some father stuff. As in, the homunculus father. Shut up. Let's just leave it there. Just leave it there. Okay, fine, fine, fine. But yeah, okay, I'll just say Just leave it uh, this, there. This, this, I'm, no, 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 I'm, no, no, I'm no, dropping no, the point. What? No, I'm dropping the point. I'm dropping the point. I'm changing the subject to a different subject. La, 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 I don't believe you. La, 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 no, la, I will. La, 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 la. There's a character that's going to be introduced in this episode, and when that when they start talking, I want you, I want you to be, I want to know if you're going to be able to identify the voice actor, because you should be able to identify this voice actor. I might recognize it, but I may not know the, I may not be able to name it. <clears throat> We'll see. Okay, fine. And it's not... I, I'm trying to think of the voice actors that you're going to know. I know but you know, frankly, I know, like, you know who Chris like Sabat he, looks like, or sounds like. Yeah, but that's Louis Armstrong. Yeah, I know. All right. And then... So this was going to happen. But I'm like... They're escaping... Out but of, like, when you take other characters, like... Um, I know I know the character... I know that there's that one character that voiced the uh, bandit in Ruby. is the same voice as uh, Bakugo. Bakugo. Or, but I didn't know the name. I, I, I read really look up the name recently, but I don't Clif remember. Clif Clifford Chaplin. I think is his name. It sounds right. Yeah. But the, you, my uh, point is, I'll know that those are the same na same okay, actors. I just don't know the name yeah. because I don't look up that shit. Okay. Uh, I'm in the way, too. There's a bunch of... Like, the voice actor for Endeavor. I love his voice. He's a great voice actor. I don't know what his name is. I'll just recognize him as... I'm just like... As uh, may as I, may I, may or Endeavor. I, may I? What? Yes! Shoto! <laughs> <laughs> or um, the voice actor who plays Father is the same guy who plays, you know, Compress and Blake's dad. I recognize his voice because he's in a lot of anime. I don't know what his name is. It doesn't sound like the, sound like the same voice when you say it's the guy who voices Compress and Blake's dad. It is. I know it doesn't fact. sound the same. I was like, at Jace. Did you know that Edward Elric from this show is the same guy who plays Crow? Yes, Vic okay. Mignogna. Okay. Oh, okay, you do know that. That one I know. You know that you name. mentioned Could. it. Or until season, until volume seven, when they fire, which is after they fire Vic yeah. Mignogna. All right. So, Jace, this is what can happen, okay? They're they're escaping out of Gluttony as we speak. Gluttony's going to be like... Rrr, rrr, rrr. Sorry, one, sorry, one more thing. It's interesting because he def you, you can definitely see there's a difference in those voices, though. Mm -hmm. Because Fullmetal Alchemist is older than Ruby. Yeah. I always thought that when... Uh, I always thought when I, when Vic Mignogna spoke, I thought he sounded... I, I always imagined he sounded more like Crow and that Edward Elric was more of a voice he was doing as opposed to what he actually sounded like. He's doing like a kid voice. For Edward Elric. No, that that's Edward Elric, that's just what Vic Mignogna sounds like when he's talking normally. And Crow is more of like the a gruff, aggressive voice that he's doing. Crazy. Alright, as I was saying. So what's gonna happen? Actually, interestingly, um I was watching an episode of uh Avatar the Last Airbender. I think it was in the the uh invasion episode. Mm -hmm. There's a voice I was hearing, I can't remember where exactly it was in the episode. Actually, no, sorry, it wasn't that one. It was um in the uh River Town episode. Yeah. After they destroyed the factory, yeah. those fire those uh, firebenders come to that little village, and the one guy who's leading that like assault, some about his voice sounded really familiar. Well, I'll have to look into it because I'm, I'm the voice guy in this in this of us. So, uh, what happened the last time? The last non flashback episode, they're they're escaping out of Gluttony. Gluttony is literally going to be like, grr, grr, grr. oh no, where's the bathroom? <laughs> had, God, man. No, I don't remember what I don't remember what. It's probably going to be a lot grosser than and more gory than what it is actually going to be. But what what do you do? You remember the phenomenon of the fact that Al was just there, his body. Yep. The thing they were searching for, and I just love like Ed sees Al's body and he just starts running for it. He doesn't know what he's going to do. He just knows that there it is. There it is. I, I we've been looking for that. It's how malnourished. He's been through hell to get that body. And then you were right. It's something that I completely didn't even think, wrap my brain around. If Alphonse had gotten eaten, then he would have gotten his body back. You said Shh. that. You told me I that. I did say that. Yeah. Like, um, Gluttony, can you eat him now? No. <laughs> then they'd have to eat another homunculi, use transmutation. Oh, God. All right, let's go. I'm trying to place it. It definitely sounds familiar. Don't uh, tell me. Don't you dare tell me. You can do it. 
What the fuck? Do you give up? I can't. No. Don't you no, dare. Fine, I won't say I won't say I okay. swear, I've heard that what voice in both My Hero and Ruby. Am I wrong? I don't think he's in either of those. <sighs> Do you want me to say? No. Okay, fine. I won't say it. I'll say this. But I, I can't think of anything it's, else I know it from. So it's... <clears throat> you know. Avatar. No, you know, Jace. You know. Okay. Uh, don't you fucking dare. I won't say it, but when you give up, put your hand in the air. I mean, voice acting wise, this episode is really good. We got Todd Habercorn doing a great job as Ling. Ugh, I hate you. I, I didn't do anything. I recognize that voice. Yes, you do. Was it an anime? He used to do anime. He doesn't anymore. Started online? No, I don't think so. He's in this. He was in Naruto. He was in Darker Than Black. We have to talk about the episode. We can't just have you play the guessing game the whole time. Then we'll cut some, some something out of it. If you're not gonna get it, then you're never gonna get it. That's the it makes you want to kill yourself. <laughs> That's your fault now. Who the fuck is it? It's Troy Baker. It's Joel from The Last of Us. That does not sound like Troy Baker. It's him. He's got the fucking range. I'm walking away. You're done. I'm fucking walking. Fuck you. So great voice acting wise, we have Troy Baker. We got Todd Habercorn doing an amazing job as Ling with some of the screaming and like, he's like, hey, I'm going to become a homunculus. And we got J. Michael Tatum's amazing rant of like, you don't deserve to be with God with my brothers. You only solace for your, my wrath will be your damnation. Ah, so much shit happened in this episode. Fuck okay. you. Here's the thing about, no, not my fault. Here's the thing. I don't, we, we established that I have no idea if wrath heals, but I don't think he does because we don't see it. I thought it was because he was a human-based homunculus. It'd have to heal if he had. I mean, if but, he has a, if he has a <clears throat> philosopher's stone. But why wouldn't he? Ling heals or greed. Greed has the ability to heal, which I don't know why he. I don't know why that's the case. By the way, that's a sick tattoo. I want that tattoo. Also, now that's two homunculi that are humans. Yep, greed is back. So we back. We're back to six homunculi, and then down back down to five because now. Gluttony. But yeah, but spoiler alert, he's gonna be he's gonna come back. Well and that's what well no shit, that's what yeah. he said. He said that like I can I'll recreate you with your memories intact. And the probably the reason he didn't do that for greed was because, you know, greed rebelled. I wonder if we're gonna keep watching it, you're gonna be like, Oh shit, you're right, that is Troy Baker. Like I now I hear it. How did I not realize it? When they have range, you can't recognize the voices, man. Piss off. Mm. Because, like, I know you re you you mainly know him from The Last of Us, and I'm thinking, in the cutscenes of that, he's all like, hey. His, his voice is deep. He's just like, hey, I'm Joel. Like, oh shit, you got bit. Uh, but this is more like, he's like, ah, ha, 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 ha. yo, dude, greed, best character. I don't know why, this is one of the, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not criticizing it in any way, but I just want to know, how come when they brought back greed, it's a different voice. It's not Todd Habercorn doing both roles. It's a different voice. They brought on Troy Baker to do the greed parts of of greed, but they didn't bring back the first guy. It, the first guy was just some other guy. You know, the one they fought in like episode twelve or something. And I'm, I'm just like, why didn't they bring back that guy? Hmm. I don't, maybe they didn't want to do it. Maybe, maybe, maybe they were like, hey, Troy Baker's here. You wanna you wanna get him get him in on this? He's like, oh hell yeah, he's great. And they're like, hey director, you're not gonna believe this, but, but I think. But if it were me doing like this. Fuck this guy, because what are you talking about? Get off my set. Troy Baker is in a motel down the street. Be like, really? 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 Yeah. Call him up. <laughs> so yeah, what did you think of Okay Jace? I know you've been had a lot of theories. What's the deal with father and Hoenhan? What are you thinking? The only thing I can think of is twin brothers, but I don't think that's it. There's an interesting sentence in this. Father says, Well, I know he can't be dead. He's like, Where's your he's like, what's up with your father? I know he can't be dead. Why is that? I remember for the longest time you were just like, they're the same person. And I kept making jokes about you, uh, like, no, Jace, they're not the same person. It's his evil twin. And you didn't believe me, because of course you didn't, because I was being a shithead. I told Emily about this. You're always a shithead. I told Emily about this. I'm like, Emily, it's so funny. He thinks they're the same person <laughs> still. And then and I'm like, no, Jace, they're not the same person. It's his evil twin. And she was like, me and her just had a laugh the whole time. And she's like, Josh, you're awful. And I was like, yeah. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. No. And I sincerely mean that because I'm not reacting with just shit with him for a year. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Asshole. Oh, that's so funny. Get out of my apartment. But, but, but Get out. What, wait, Jace, I want to know something. You're, you're worried about Ling, yeah? Yes. Did you really care about Ling? I don't think you really attached to him as much as I did. I was starting to like him towards oh. the end. Well, he's still there. It's just, mm, we got, we got, we got Greedling going on. Did you just say, say Greedling? Greedling. Greedling? Yeah. It's, it's, it's how the fandom distincts this version of Greed from the first one. It's a crazy moment of just like, father showing up. How are you able to use your alchemy? He just grabs his face and blows him up. Nothing happens. Not only that, he has the ability to use alchemy just by thinking about it. Not even moving. He did he also ignore the law of equivalent exchange. Well, he, I mean, in, he's got a sh he's probably got like a ton of philosopher stones. Philosopher stones. I mean, you saw some f some fucking crazy ass shit. A fucking eyeball popped out of his forehead, cried out some philosopher stone juice. What is his end game? What is he trying to do? You know, his his father and his whole goal is to make the entire planet call him daddy. No. So what did you think of... You had a bit of a reaction to, like, all of May's fantasies about Ed. Just go up and smoke. Uh, she's too young, man. Yeah. She's just too young. Yeah, Ed uh, Ed whips out the gun that he's been carrying with him the whole time. And then fires he, a shot. Yeah, he didn't use it. This is the last we see of it. I don't even think he gives it back to Hawkeye. He just doesn't. It just disappears, which is upsetting. Because I thought maybe it was going to be like... And this is a spoiler alert for the movie Logan. There's, like, a scene where he, like... You see him like swiftly like pick up something off of a soldier he kills. And then when the dude is monologuing, he shoots him in the throat. That wasn't Logan? Yeah. It's like it came into play. I thought there was going to be like a scene where like, hey, we've taken away their alchemy. Now they're useless. Ah, uh, good. Bam! Shot in the face. And he's like holding the gun. It's so interesting to me just how many like lighthearted moments there can be in this episode. Like it's like a fight for your life against the homunculi, but they're still playing like lighthearted music. And like, not lighthearted, but it's like more upbeat than you'd think it'd be. But it works. It's, it doesn't feel disjointed. It's good. I love that. How much of I love the panda. The panda might usurp Armstrong and Greed as my favorite characters. I might have to take. I might have to break, bump Armstrong down to three for this fucking panda. I forgot how much of the hype. We haven't, man. Seen, we haven't seen enough of Armstrong, anyways. It's fine. Oh yeah, I forgot. He, I will say this though. He comes back. Isn't he and, injured right now? I, I don't remember. Is he? Is I remember he helped, he showed, he went to the desert with Ed to say, hey, uh, Ross isn't dead. And then that was, that's the last thing I remember from him. But Jace, I do think up later in the series, Armstrong does have one of the most like, like memorable and iconic moments from the series. Me and you are going to, they're gonna, Armstrong's going to do a thing. And then I know for a fact that when it happens from a reactionary standpoint, me and you are going to do the exact same thing. It's going to, it's going to happen. <laughs> Cause I, I know, I just, I just know. Mm. Mm. All right, All let's right. wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm Josh. I'm Jace. We'll see you guys in the next one. Greed.